Yo, what's going on guys? Jet XC here, man. And if you've been paying attention to the anniversary coming up, they've been releasing a lot of news. Uh the dev team CSUN for Snowbreak. And I will say, so for the marriage uh wedding skins, right? It seems to be that they are actually going to be implementing a permanent part of this uh whole thing in the story as something that's actually canon. So in the next event that we get, the whole thing where they actually do go through this whole wedding thing will be canon in the story. And the Snowbreak uh, producer here, um, he basically translated the changes that they're going to be making for this whole wedding event. So I'm going to pull it up here. So it says, I hope you enjoyed our anniversary version preview. I'm eager to hear your thoughts and suggestions you have. Today, I would like to dive deeper in the Covenant outfits and their deeper meaning with you. So, here we go. Covenant refers to the eternal vow, the exclusive ceremony for the girls and the adjutant to determine their eternal companionship. This ceremony and establishment of such relationships really within uh, the worldview of Snowbreak. Every piece of content in the game, including the main story, personal files, affinity stories, base random events and interactable outfit scene stories all unfold in the same worldview so all of these events and affinity stories interactable events they're all within the same world rest assured there's a seamless continuity with no what if scenarios these are all canon basically uh and the main storyline of the version suspense and skytopia the covenant relationship is a crucial element. The main story sets the stage before the establishment of these enduring relationships. Upon the adjutant's return from New Hentero, a significant decision is made to enter an eternal relationship with two girls who supported him all along the way. This narrative structure enhances the logical flow and adds persuasive depth, inviting reflections on the transformative power of love and commitment. It is suggested that you experience the moment of eternal vows and personal fires after completing the main story. So when you complete the main story, check the personal files, uh, file, excuse me, of Finny Five Star or Finny Starshine in uh, Life Infinity. And you will get the aftermath of what happens in New Hentero. Four, in the future of the story, these girls' uh, identities will shift to a certain degree after making their vows with adjutant. So... For all the events going on, whenever we run into Finny and Life, it's as if uh, essentially they're in a relationship. Um, uh, the first thing I'm thinking is like Mushoku Tensei. I don't know if you guys are watching that. It's an anime, but um, Rudy has basically two wives. Uh, essentially, this is what this is. It's a harem, but with the marriage factor into it. So uh, essentially, it's just typical harem stuff from anime gacha games, right? Uh, following this version update, you will notice that Life's affinity story has also been updated. Six, in the following versions, we will also develop a feature of ring added to daily wear for adjutant in the base. So, essentially, they're just going to go along with the whole marriage wedding skins and make it a thing in the story. That's essentially what this is. Um, do I think it's a big deal? I don't really care. I mean, a lot of these gacha games are harem anyway, except they're just taking the marriage thing to the next level. And this is the first time, I think... And a lot of people have commented in a gacha game that they're actually making this a part of the story. So pretty interesting and pretty different. Um, yeah, I mean, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Again, I'm sure a lot of you will be typing in Snow Peak. So, hey, Snow Peak, man. And again, I'll be covering the anniversary the more and more we go. So, again, like the video. Let me know if you guys got any questions. And uh, I'm out. Later.